The initiative was a success. It went amazingly well. I got what I wanted. I don't know how it gets any better than that. So happy. It was the source of my happiest moment. I want to celebrate because I've accomplished my initiative. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> This is Gene Maroney of Thinking Directions. Three times a year, we run a program called Launch, a group coaching program to help you achieve a major goal in eight weeks. At the end of the eight weeks, we have a celebration call. And here are some snippets of what that sounds like. June, would you like to celebrate? A few weeks ago, you had said, sometimes you really do have to fight for your values. This launch, I really learned what that meant. And it wasn't fighting in the sense of a struggle. It was getting clear about what I really wanted and having that level of clarity and love for what I want. Yeah. It's like the most peaceful thing in the world. It's yourself, right? You're clear on yourself. Yeah. Fantastic. And Guy, would you like to celebrate? Yeah. Your tough love was very important there. Snapping me out of my particular thought process was really good. The self-coaching model was incredibly powerful for me. It's great if you can come to a coaching call and get help, but it is a thousand times better if you can do a self-coaching model at your desk in the morning and not need help. So Philip, would you like to celebrate? Yeah, absolutely. At first I was sad. Then I remember the original purpose was to get myself out of depression. And I did like halfway through the initiative. Yay, Philip. Fantastic. That's great. I already did achieve the goal. And you're well on your way to your next goal, right? Definitely. Right. This is what builds confidence, builds self-esteem, builds pride. Yeah, all right. Absolutely. Terrific. All right, thanks for sharing that. So Susanna, would you like to celebrate? What I learned is the importance of the initiative page, the importance of identifying closure. Yeah. You really need to turn that big goal into an objective, into a key result, into a task. And so congratulations on that. That's really important. Amy, would you like to celebrate? Yeah. I couldn't start any new things. But now that I have this system where I know it's going to pop up when it needs to, I started reading books to my kids out loud in the last couple of weeks. I felt like I couldn't do that for so long because if I did did that, I was going to forget to do the other thing. It's great. You really have a trusted system and it frees right. you to be selfish. That's what right. I mean. That right. is fantastic. That is actually fantastic news. Who would like to go next? Carl. I learned about being able to take an empathy bath, problem solving, getting unstuck, just overall being a better thinker. You have made real changes. It's been really noticeable, Carl. Yay. Andrew, would you like to just do your celebration quickly? I learned a lot from you and from everybody else about old baggage. I found times when I was using the old baggage as an excuse to work on old baggage <laughs> instead of doing the real work. If you see what's really going on, then you can find the values and you can move forward. And that's yeah. one of the reasons to come together to celebrate. It really is. Ryan, would you like to celebrate? Right. Yes, I would. I've completed both of my four-week goals on schedule this launch, which was having my nine-year-old son um, watch my video game uh, gameplay on YouTube and give me um, some constructive criticism as well as some encouragement. So uh, oh, it was great. fantastic. Yeah. That's great. That's really <laughs> exciting. At that moment, it was low-hanging fruit in, in effect. You know, definitely Part of being in this program and listening to other people's challenges and successes and part of your goal setting course as well, right? Which was, yep. I had kind of uh, self-expression and communication as more long-term values, but then I was like, you know, finding a way to make that more short-term short -term. that I could get yes. it in the immediate horizon. And I was fantastic. like, you know, I could just publish this now. So I pulled them forward. All right. Fantastic. That's great, Ryan. Congratulations on how that all has come together. That's Thank great. you. All right. Kevin, would you like to celebrate? Yes. I listened to every one of the calls and got uh, a lot out of it. So my initiative was to build sort of a system about health, sleeping, eating, and exercise. I would have challenges at work, and I came up with this analogy for overloads. I was like I was putting my finger in the book and then going to a different page, and I would reach the point where I ran out of fingers, and I would go <laughs> eat a cookie to uh, compensate. Once I sort of got that cleared up, I'm average 
averaging over seven and a half hours of sleep. That's fantastic, Kevin. And it really took work. Skylar, would you like to celebrate? I would like to. I, I learned a lot through the launch about getting more objective about everything <laughs> involving my values. I realized that through putting in the work and doing the thought work, I was able to get through the hairiest part of my play. And after I'd done that, I had this like surge of like enthusiasm for it to the point where I actually <laughs> printed the whole thing out and I sent it out to a local theater. They're gonna get back to me this year. Wow, that's so exciting. I think it's, it's for the first time I really felt on top of the world about my work. That's fantastic, Skylar. Thank you. Congratulations. Rational selfishness, so that you can have that kind of joy in your life from your work, that's fantastic. Amit, would you like to celebrate? Sure, last week, all, all the work on being more emotionally aware brought together in some one moment. I got stuck in traffic and instead of getting annoyed, I put some symphony that I like and I enjoyed it in a way that I haven't enjoyed music like for ages. That's fantastic. This is, you know, when you invest in rationally selfish values, it's all to the good. And this, what we're hearing several people saying, basically it sets up a virtuous cycle that means that you get payoffs in places you weren't expecting. And I'm really, really glad to hear that, I mean, Maybe you'd like to join the next launch. We run three during the year. One starts at New Year's, usually New Year's Day. One starts in the spring, usually mid-April. And one starts on Labor Day, infallibly on the Monday of Labor Day. They run for eight weeks. Read all about it at thinkingdirections.com. I hope to see you in our next launch.